Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sheltenham Racecourse here on Saturday. It is December the 14th, 2019. I'm going to look at all the stakes races on the program from Sheltenham, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And remember, go check out my Goldstream preview for today. Excellent card there uh, in South Florida. But uh, let's get to the stakes action from Sheltenham. The greater races, races 4, 5, and 6. So the 155 to 230 and the 305. So let's get on to it. The fourth race, 155. It is the Grade 3 Caspian Caviar Gold Cup Handicap Chase. It's Grade 3 event for Class 1 horses. Going for a purse, $166,500. Race for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have 16 horses entered, but we're actually down to a field of four, uh, 15 because the 3 horse riders on the storm is a scratch or withdrawal. So we're down to a field of 15 going the distance of ground of 4,200 meters or 2 miles and 5 eighths over the chase course. Since this is a very wide open race, I'll give you two horses that I think can win. The two horses I would use here would be the one and the four. So the one horse Steve Page and the four horse Secret Investor. You can use both those horses in an exact or forecast combination, possibly each way, but most definitely use them both in the place pod. So we'll start off with the one horse Steve Page. The seven year old by Sadler Maker. Charlie Deutsch is on this one. The horse is most recent on came 9th of November at Aintree. Two and a half miles on a class two handicap chase, and he had a high weight that day, which probably cost him late. First off, uh, about of eleven month refreshing. He finished second by one three quarter lengths at four to one. He jumped well. Again, he just couldn't get to the one who had that less weight, about uh, eight plus pounds than him. But he still ran a decent race, I thought, there off the the shelf. Gonna come back here, second off the break, back to Sheldon where he loves to run a high weight. I don't think it should be a problem. Before then, this race last year here at Sheldon on the 15th of December, two and a half, two miles, five eighths on quite firmer ground that you're going to see today. He finished second by a one and a quarter lengths behind Frodon. Frodon just had something left in the tank to go away with it, but this horse with a low weight jumped well. That was a very impressive effort there. And then before that, here at Sheldon, I'm in the grade two um, Bar Barchester Health Ch Silver Trophy Chase back in April 2018. He finished fourth by nine three quarter lengths. He jumped well early on. He needed an extra turn of foot. Maybe the ground was just a little bit too fast for him. But he still ran a terrific race, I thought. And then a Kempton on soft ground, two miles nine sixteenths in a class two handicap chase in March of twenty eighteen, winning by one half lengths with a high weight didn't really matter. I think the ground's gonna be perfect for him today. Not too soft, not too firm. Five to one. I think he's a very logical uh, winner of this race, along with the four horse secret investor. The seven year by Tave, Cave Tara. Harry Coven's on this one for Paul Nichols. This horse is coming out of a race at Down Royal in the second November most recently, two miles seven sixteenths in the grade two daily mirror chase. And he finished second by fourteen lengths behind Real Steel, who just ran a terrific race out of nowhere, I thought. But this horse, he jumped well, but off the break, he probably needed the race. Before that, it aired on the 13th of April. Two miles nine sixteenths in the Grade Two uh, Future Champion Novice Chase. He won by three and three quarter lengths there, and again, he was much the best that day. He was supposed to win, and he won nicely, easy, easy victory. And then it won Canton and Novice Chase back in uh, March. He won by twenty, again, very easy, facing basically nobodies that day. He, he's another horse. I think the ground with him either is going to be a little bit too slow, uh, too soft. Um, he might do a little bit better with a quicker ground, but he has the ability to win here off of um, you know his form lines at six one I'll use him. I have to give you a top selection between the two horses. I think it would be a C page. But um like I said, I think both of them are you know, could win here. But to recap my selection for the one fifty five, the fourth race from Sheldon, it's the grade three Caspian Caviar Gold Cup and Gap Chase. Let's take the one horse C page and we'll also use the four horse secret investor. We'll go one four in the forecast exacta and we we'll definitely use the one and the four in the place pot. So now let's get to race number five, the two thirty from Sheltonham, which is the grade two Albert Bartlett novices chase. It's a grade two event going for a uh, class one horses going for a purse $41,000 race for novice four year olds and upwards. We have eight horses going the distance of ground to 4,800 meters or three miles over the hurdle course. Top selection here. I'm going to go with the one horse Champagne Well. We'll go one, three, four in the tri cash trifecta. One, three, four tri cash trifecta. Top selection one horse Champagne Well. The six year old gentleman by Goldwell. Patty Brennan's on this one for a Fergal O'Brien. The horse's most recent out. He came the 16th of November here at Sheltonham. Two miles five eights in the grade two Ballymore Knobs hurdle. He finished second by three lengths behind Time Hill, who just ran a terrific race there and uh, um, did have some money. I believe on Time Hill that day. But this horse, he jumped well. He made that extra turn of foot, but I didn't think it was a bad race for him. Before that, though, here in a class two hurdle, novice hurdle at uh, Sheldon, yielding ground, two miles, five eighths, October the 25th. He came out and winning by half length. He was the favorite, but he just jumped to a terrific run, beating some decent horses there, an all around great run. 
And then the raid won Sefton Nav's Hurdle at Aintree back in April. He finished 6 by 20 lengths, and he just hit the wall. His last few jumps weren't very uh, good, and uh, he just couldn't keep up there. And then before that, Sandown, 2.5 miles in March in the Grade 3 uh, National Hunt Novice Handicap Hurdle Final. He finished third by 1.5 lengths. You know, he just kind of hung a little bit that day, which probably cost him. And then before that, Ludlow, a race where, sh you know, he should have won, but he kind of interfered with the second-place finisher, was placed up for who was actually placed up first through the disqualification of this horse you know he jumped well but then just couldn't keep a straight course like what can you do but i think he went here at seven to two um you know let's take him so to recount my selection for the 230 fifth race from shelton <coughs> It's the great two, Albert Bartlett, Knott's Hurdle. Let's take the one horse champagne. Well, we'll go one, three, four in the TriCast Trifecta. The sixth race, the 305, the featured of the afternoon. It is the Grade two Unibet International Hurdle. Grade two event for class one horses going for a purse of $179,000. Race for four year olds and upwards. We have nine horses going the distance of ground of 3,400 meters or two miles and one eighth over the course. Top selection. I'm going to get a little wacky here with the eight horse. Call me Lord. I'm going to go eight four five in the tri-cast trifecta eight four five tri-cast trifecta top selection eight horse cormy lord this um six-year-old game by stickley james bones on this one for Nikki henderson he's four to one but i think with the other two lower priced horses i think he's going to get bet up into the market so i think he'll get a little bit better odds than four to one wouldn't surprise me if he goes off here in america at eight to one tell you truth but his most recent out game the grade two coral hurdle at ascot two miles three eights november the 23rd first off a long refreshing he finished second by half length. He was under the drive. He was excelling a little bit that day. But, you know, first off the break, he probably needed the race. I, on quite slimmer ground, which he improves on, you know, to two miles and an eighth. Cut back and trip. I think he's sitting on a very good run. Before then, the Grade Three um, Imperial Cup handicap hurdle sand down in March. He finished third by five and a half lengths. And again, he jumped well. The race was three miles, say, and, and two miles and a quarter. He probably would have won. But with the two mile trip, he jumped well. You know, no extra turn of foot, but it was an all around good effort. And then the Grade One JLT hurdle at Ascot right before Christmas last year. He finished seventh by 19 lengths. Paisley Park just ran a terrific race. This horse just didn't handle Ascot. You either like it or didn't. Don't like it. Three miles got to him that day. And then a sand down April 2018, two miles 11 16 in the grade two select hurdle he won by 16 that day and he did everything right i like him coming here to shell them i like the cutback and trip i think you'll see a good pace in this one at four to one he's a horse definitely use on your ticket um who would be my best by the day from the card from Sheldon. but to recap my selection for the 305 the sixth race from Sheldon, it's grade two international hurdle hurdle let's go with the eight horse call me lord i'm gonna go eight four five in the tri cash trifecta so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck